Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about common drain amplifier and its analysis. Common drain amplifier Common Drain amplifier That means the drain terminal is common between input and output. The drain terminal is common between input and output. So this is the drain terminal gate and source. So this drain terminal is common between input and as well as output. Input is applied between gate and drain and output is taken from source and drain. Okay. And this common drain is also known as also known as what is that? Source follower. Source follower. You may had emitter follower. Emitter follower is nothing but common collector. Here also common drain is nothing but source follower. Okay. Now let me tell you the amplifier circuit diagram of this common drain. So common drain. We don't have any drain resistor. Output is taken across the source resistor. V out RS. These are voltage device and network R1 and R2. capacitor and this is the place where we are taking the input ok V in C1 C2 this is the VDD so drain terminal source terminal and gate ok so this is the common drain amplifier circuit diagram common drain amplifier circuit diagram now we need to draw the small signal equivalent model and later we can calculate the voltage gain input impedance and output impedance so how to draw the small signal equivalent model so small signal model so for drawing small signal model two points we need to remember all DC voltage sources DC voltage sources should be grounded all DC voltage sources should be grounded all capacitors all capacitors means it includes both the bypass capacitors and as well as coupling capacitors so all capacitors should be short circuited should be short circuited ok so how to draw that circuit diagram just the same circuit let me write uh, let me draw with those two assumptions here we are taking the output this is RS source terminal drain gate this VDD becomes grounded R1 R2 this is the place to apply input this is V input ok now we need to draw the small signal model hmm. take this gate source plus minus VGS drain Drain is at ground. Directly drain is at 
ground. Next source from source we have a source resistor. This is the GM VGS. Okay, source we have a source resistor RS across which we are taking the output V out. Okay, next from gate, how many components are there? Three components are there gate to ground V in is there, gate to ground V R1 is there, gate to ground R2 is there. So, all are existed from gate to ground. These three are connected together. Okay, this is R1, R2 and this is Vn. Okay, so from gate to ground we have three components and source to ground RS is there and drain is directly at the ground. Okay, so now let us calculate those three parameters voltage gain, input impedance and output impedance. So let us start with voltage gain. Voltage gain AV. Voltage gain AV. So first output voltage if we are able to write then we can get the AV. So V out is equal to output voltage V out is equal to where we are calculating the output voltage, we are calculating the output voltage across the source resistor. What is the current flowing through the source resistor? The current flowing through the source resistor is GM VGS only. Okay, the same current is flowing through the source resistor. So, V out is equal to, but here the current is flowing from top to bottom, plus minus. So, it is in the same direction. So, GM VGS into RS. This is the output voltage expression. Now, if we able to write VGS in terms of Vn, then we can get the voltage gain AV. How to write a VGS in terms of AV, a v, Vn? See, VGS is the voltage from gate to source. And Vn is the voltage from gate to ground. But gate to ground here there are two voltages VGS and one more is V out. So we can write from circuit V in is equal to VGS plus V out. That is equal to VGS plus GM VGS into RS. That is equal to VGS into 1 plus GM into RS. This is Vn. But what we need? We need VGS. VGS is equal to Vn by 1 plus GM RS. Now substitute this VGS value in this equation V out. So substitute VGS in V out. Therefore, V out is equal to V out is equal to GM VGS. So, GM into RS into V in by 1 plus GM RS. Therefore, V out by V in is equal to AV is equal to GM RS by 1 plus GM RS. This is the way to calculate the voltage gain. This is okay. GM RS by 1 plus GM into RS. If RS value is more, if RS is more, what happens? This denominator is approximately equal to GM into RS. Then it is equal to unity. So for large RS values, voltage gain becomes unity. For large RS values, voltage gain becomes 
unity but generally it is always less than unity generally it is always less than unity so av is less than or equal to 1 this is the voltage gain calculation coming to the input impedance input impedance zi input impedance zi so zi is equal to go to the circuit diagram and see zi is calculated here zi is from the gate to ground and z0 is from the drain to ground okay zi is equal to r1 parallel r2 r1 parallel r2 that is equal to r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 this is the input impedance zi take this equation as one now output impedance output impedance z0 see here the output terminal is existed output is measured from source to ground but what is the theory says theory according to theory the output impedance has to be calculated from drain to ground drain to ground drain terminal is at the ground and again other terminal is also ground but internally we are having a current source and the resistance rs so that's why there is a method from this av we can calculate the output impedance take this equation one equation okay take this equation one from equation one av is equal to gm rs by one plus gm rs that is equal to rewrite this equation rs by one by gm plus rs okay so this is equal to v out by v in because voltage gain av is equal to v out by v in that we can write it as v out is equal to v in into rs by 1 by gm plus rs so we have a circuit with input voltage v in and this is 1 by gm across which we are taking the output voltage this is the output voltage so from that relation we can get a circuit like this then how to calculate the output impedance from this one in order to calculate the output impedance all the input voltage sources must be short circuited that means vn is equal to 0 when vn is equal to 0 1 by gm and rs comes into parallel therefore z0 is equal to 1 by gm parallel rs is equal to 1 by gm into rs by 1 by gm plus rs this is z0 okay so in this way we can calculate the voltage gain input impedance and output impedance for the source follower or common drain amplifier thank you